Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Liz and this is Simply Homeschool. So today I wanted to show you guys a flip through of our Evan Moore Skill Sharpeners Critical Thinking. This is for grade four. This is gonna be our first year using this. Now I use the Abeka Language Arts Curriculum and we love it. And um, I saw this and I just wanted to kind of add in some critical thinking. Now my daughter, she does do her reading comprehension and things like that. And they do have some critical thinking involved in all of their language arts. But I saw this and I thought that it would be fun. And it actually has specific lessons that will go with our science unit. So I thought maybe incorporating those in together around the same time would be cool. So I got this. If you guys haven't checked out my curriculum picks video, make sure you check that out so you know what all we are doing this year. So I'll have that link down below for you guys. But let's go ahead and get started with these flip throughs. Now, I have done flip throughs for the past three years on all of our curriculum, even my niece's curriculum, because we were doing school together. Long, long, long story, you guys, if you're new here. But um, but I do have those curriculum picks on my video and I have a whole lot of flip throughs. So if you're looking for something specific, make sure you check out my playlist on my channel. You can find all kinds of curriculum based flip throughs there. So today we are just focusing on this Evan Moore flip through. So let's go ahead and get started. we are gonna go ahead and jump right into this now I am going to read a couple things to you guys just to kind of explain to you what this skill sharpening book is all about so it basically just says that critical thinking um, is important to your kids and naturally when they're younger they learn through exploration they observe their environment using logic and reasoning as children grow and enter an academic setting some of their natural curiosity and problem solving instincts are not as engaged as they could be so in the book you guys will see as i do the flip through they've broken them down into like little sections or different topics so basically here's read all about it. The reading selections provide context for the theme based activities that follow them. Children read the selections, paying attention to the photos and discuss the topics with a parent or friend. So tell what you know. The activities on these pages provide opportunities for children to connect their knowledge and opinions to the topic. Encourage your child to think about his or her experiences and support his and her curiosity by discussing the questions and topics together. Here, critical thinking activities. The critical thinking activities are designed to engage children in application, analysis, synthesis, and evaluation tasks. The cross-curricular activities present science, math, social studies, and language arts content. Art projects and hands-on activities. The art projects and hands-on activities provide children with opportunities to use critical thinking skills to create, encourage your child to tap into his or her creativity, and innovation to have fun with the hands-on activities. After your child completes each project, discuss the steps taken to create it. Encourage your child to explain what he or she enjoyed the most and why. So here it starts off, the first one is wild cats. And you have a little space here where once they get something done, they can check it just to kind of let them see their progress as they go. So this is what they're talking about. So this is gonna be reading all about it. This is gonna be telling what you know. So the skills here are compare, analyze, construct, and deduce. Here is which cat, tell more about what you know. And the skills here are compute, reason, and compare. So these look really fun. The pages are super colorful. I love that, especially when it comes to kids' workbooks because it just keeps them more engaged. Um, here are word squares. So this is all about analyzing and creating. Okay, so here is construct. So the skills are explain, give your opinion, and then here is what do you think. This is produce, so give your opinion, classify, and compose. Here's another construct for tiger tidbits. It's combine, use context, and infer. And then cheetah code, which is decoding, so apply and produce. Compute, 
is compare and order. And then how to draw is classifying and creating. And here is the create for your pop-up lion. And this is constructing. So that was all about the animal. Here's another part of the constructing. And then it goes into ocean animals and it's aligned the same exact way. So I'm just gonna flip through the book and let you guys look at the pages to see what they're gonna be working through. So I hope that you guys enjoy.
So you guys will see here in the back, all of the answer keys are here. So if you guys are going to be giving your kiddos this book as is, just make sure that you guys take out your teacher keys and keep them separate with all of your teacher keys. All right, you guys, that is it. I hope that this was super helpful to you guys. I think that this looks awesome. I have a feeling that my daughter's going to love it. The colors, the pages, they're pretty engaging, so I think that she'll like it a lot. Um, I'm not quite sure how I'm going to incorporate this into our year, just because usually we have a pretty full year, but I'm going to figure a way out, you guys. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna be organizing this in with her other curriculum, or if I'm just gonna keep it separate in this book just intact like this, but you guys will know when I do my organizing. So I'll be sure to let you guys know how I plan on using this. But that's it, you guys. If you haven't already subscribed, be sure to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. That way you are alerted anytime I have a new upload. And that is it. So have a beautiful rest of your day. Be safe, be blessed, and I will see you guys next time. Bye. If the wind could spread your love What if your sweetness could reach everyone There'd be no wars